developed to be a reference guide. It's just a quick reference guide for non-engineers. Um, it only covers earthen dams and comments. We don't get into concrete dams, and we don't get into any other specialty dams. This guide was developed for dam owners and engineering technicians, recreation technicians, training technicians, and other forest service personnel, and not other non-engineers. Um, most of the information was, was gotten from two in-depth references, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Low Hazard Dams Standing Operating Procedures, and FEMA 145 Dam Safety and Owners Guidance Manual. And if you look at this, it'll give you the references in the back, we'll talk about that. Trees obscuring vegetation, um, rodent activity, livestock, transverse cracking, longitudinal cracking, low areas in the crest where it could, uh, the dam could be um, overtopped. Then we've also got some of the seepage ones, excessive um, quantity or muddy water exiting from a point, seepage water exiting at the boil, water exiting at the, uh, at the groin or the, the button contact, seepage water exiting from a point adjacent to the outlet pipe. You know, we have a lot of piping and stuff. Failure of concrete uh, around the outlet structures, uh, outlet releases, eroding the toe of the dam, excessive vegetation, and erosion of spillway channels. The way the pocket guide is set up is if you turn to any of the pages past uh, probably about seven or eight, you'll see that on the top of the page there's a narrative and we give the probable cause and possible consequences and the recommended actions. And it's made to use, it's a pocket guide like this, but it's made to use like this right here. So all the narratives up on the top, and then below we get a schematic and a picture. 